My name is Orla Dina Ballard and I am the Fritter Woman. I'm an educator, motivator, professional bodybuilder. I am the People's Health Coach, here to help you to become your best selves. And this is Muscles and Stilettos. so fearfully and wonderfully made that even my creator had to sit back and say, Woo! Man! An amazing Amazon, protected to all. Hell hath not the fury that I can unleash, should I or my loved ones be scorned. Mother Earth, growing potential, thoughts, potential, ideas, birthing those ready to be born and those ready to be Fam, it's your girl Orlandina, and welcome to Serenity by the Sea right here in Long Island, New York. And this is a very special episode of Muscles and Stilettos. everyone, we are here with Marie Williams of Elite Bride Squad. She's a very special combination of a wedding officiant and a personal trainer. So Marie, every bride wants to look fit and fabulous for her special day. And so how do you do it? How do you get us ready? Well, first off, I meet with them and as an officiant, I like to get to know my couples. I like to get to know what it is that you want to be special on your day. So, cause that is the most important day. As fabulous as we want to look, it really is about spending the rest of your life with the person that you love. So once I get to know who you are and what's most important to you and what your goals are, then we transition into working into the fitness. And that's just about, you know, as you know, with guns like that, you know, Dina knows. <laughs> what do they want? You know, is their dress strapless? Are we worried about the arms? Are we worried about the legs? Are we worried about, you know, losing body fat? I mean, the, every woman is different and every person is unique. So it's really about developing a structure that is for you. And it's not only for you, the bride, it's also for the squad. As I call it, we are the lead bride squad. So for your squad to walk down that aisle just as radiant and powerfully as you do. So I'm really about working, working with everyone as a unit. And I thought that was really cool about the name of your company when you say the Elite Bride Squad. Like, you know, when talk about people always say squad goals, like why the squad? Why do you think it's so important in terms of fitness? And like you said, you just said, you know, walking down the aisle. As women, we build community. We build community together. And if you think about it, just growing up, you know, wherever you come from, whatever your background is, even if it's just one person that was part of your squad, there was somebody that was there when you needed them. There was someone that was there to, you know, to have your back and take care of you. When you're getting married, there are so many elements and so many emotions and so many elements that go into planning a perfect wedding and planning, you know, having to make everyone happy having to make you know your partner's family happy and so you really want to have that balance of people that are there to support you and make sure you're taking care of yourself making sure you're eating <laughs> making yeah. sure you're going for a walk if you need to making yeah. sure you're de-stressing and so when you have the squad that's taking the fitness journey with you and so they're working out with you and you know even if it's even if they can't do it in person with you you know we can make dates hey did you get your run in today or did you have enough water today just having that support group it just makes such a difference and even if you're not getting married i know for myself personally my fitness journey i'm not just a trainer i've gone through my own personal fitness and wellness and health journey and it became the difference for me was having a group of women that was there to literally call me and ask me, hey Marie, what's going on with you today? Where were you today? Did you miss this today? How can I help you today? So having that support is, it's priceless. It is, and you know, part of wellness is having that community, that tribe to support you on your highs and on your lows. Now, you know, we're talking about the bride, but what about the groom? Is it important for him too? I mean, we want him looking svelte. You know, he wants to look good in his suit. <laughs> I laugh because I hear that so often. So the name of the company is Elite Bride Squad. I have not excluded the men, but I hear from the grooms all the time, hey, what about us? Yeah, they don't want to go down there so, with a pop belly. They want, they so want to go to fitness. I suit. do have a guns, I call it guns and bellies. Guns and belly program 
for the grooms and their ushers and the men in the group. So if the guys want to get fit and they want to get really tight and right in their tuxedos, I have something for them as well. So Marie, uh, we have some toys here. Zena brought toys. No, so we're, I'm just <laughs> saying, but you know, we're about to walk down the aisle, 15 minutes, and I want to get like a final pump so I can look real sexy so that, you know, whoever's waiting for me down the aisle, he's gonna be like, ooh, Whoa. Lord. You know, I've never seen anything so exquisite. So how do I get that ooh factor? Well, you want to get that last pump? Resistance yeah. bands are perfect. You know, you can carry them everywhere. You can tie them. There are three things that I like to have as far as the fitness take takeaway so that you can have, you can travel with and take anywhere with you. Resistance bands are one of them. A jump rope is a definite number two because you can jump rope anywhere. Anywhere that there's a floor, you can jump rope. And if you have it, you can use gliders or you can use a water bottle, just anything that'll give you a little bit of resistance. So you want to demonstrate these, these to are act These are portable. Yes. They fit in your suitcases. Roll them you up. You can take them on your honeymoon your and all of that. Yeah. Okay. So, so, mine so we're going to do some arm. You, you're in training. Listen, like you you're, got baby you're head in your biceps peak. too. That's what I call you. Baby head biceps. You just call me baby head I biceps. Do. <laughs> okay. All right. So we do. Position them. You can just um, one foot on the resistant bands, shoulders down, chest up, core is tight. Grab the resistance band and just an easy curl, flex at the elbow, keep the belt, uh, elbows tight toward the body, and release. So this, this is, is for the broad that's wearing that strapless? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can do 15 reps of these, mm -hmm. pause for 20 seconds, do with another squad. 15 reps. With, with the squad, squad. With we can the do squad it together. Behind her. When you're thinking about the florist and, you know, <laughs> did I pay the caterers <laughs> and, your future mother-in-law wants to add 10 more people to the guest oh, list. Oh yeah, there has to like be that. a mother-in-law. There has to be a future mother-in-law workout. You gotta show us that one. So what else so you this, got? So there's that. Mm -hmm. You can do one arms. So again, for the cap of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Again, so you can get something like this. <laughs> yes, like that. Like that. <laughs> Step on one third of the resistance bands. Again, clasp it. Now you send that arm. In there. What if somebody can't tell what one third is? That means take the one whole thing and divide in thirds, one part divide of it. Divide it in thirds, Okay, go ahead. a few feet from the, end, from the <laughs> handle, and you can go straight up again. Chest up, core tight, shoulders down and back, no hunching of the shoulders. Down and back, and just raise and left. You should never go shoulder height. See, this is, I don't have enough resistance. See, yeah. when it can do this, that means it's not hard <laughs> enough. So what you do, you can just shorten it, make it a little bit shorter and have a little more resistance. You shouldn't be going past And notice she's height. got her heels on. So that yes. means we could do it anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Now, future mother-in-law, getting on my nerves. <clears throat> what can I do? What can I do to de-stress from the future mother-in-law? So to de-stress, take a lot of deep breaths, smile, say yes, future mother-in-law, uh -huh. and then go get your squad, <laughs> and you guys have some wine. <laughs> There's that. Work it out. Oh, 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 not, not a little one-two, like a little. You can one-two. One-two. Um, as a professional, <laughs> I cannot say that you're gonna one-two with your mother-in-law, but if you want to shadow box and practice with yeah, your girls, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, you can practice with your. Oh, girls. Oh, okay. You see, that's what I'm talking jab. about. A little, a little jab, a little cross. Okay, the husband, hubby's acting up. We could do a little jab cross. Exactly. A little knee. Okay. See, she wants to add knee. That's, she's <laughs> Dina's a little violent. I do not propose violence. This, this, this episode is all about love. <laughs> Fam, I want to again thank Marie for being on the show thank with us, Elite me. Bride Squad. And where can we find you? Uh, you can find me at my website, www.elitebridesquad.com. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook, Elite underscore Bride Squad. And she'll have you looking fit, fabulous, and mother-in-law worthy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, fam.
So fam, we know that when you're planning your wedding, you're also planning your honeymoon. So fam, we are here with Vanya Ewers of Vanya Travels. So Vanya, tell us a little bit about what you do and how you help our happy couple to plan their dream honeymoon. Oh. Well, Dina, I'd first like to thank you for allowing me to come on your show and showcase my business. So basically what I do when I meet a client, I always profile them. I check out where they've been before. You want to make sure that when they're going away, that it's the same type hotel that they're used to staying at. So basically I would ask them questions as far as what they want out of their honeymoon. They want to go to a Caribbean island or, you know, some people they want to go international, like go to Paris or Switzerland. So basically I make sure that I talk to them and um, understand exactly what it is that they want. So now a place like this, like Serenity I by know. the Sea, yeah. I'm like, this, this is, is gorgeous. Pure <laughs> Serenity. Yes. So if I tell you this is the type of vacation that myself and my husband or partner would love to go on, right. so this is what you would go by. So how would you make this into my dream honeymoon? Well, basically um, what I would do, um, I'd find out also what the couple likes to do. Like some people, when they go away on vacation, they just want to stay at the resort mm. and they want to just chill by the pool and enjoy the resort, and right? And then, <laughs> and then you have Eat people who, yeah. And then you have um, couples that like to do like, you know, adventurous um, excursions. So you got to make sure that um, everything is available to them that they would want to do um, while they're on their vacation. Also, they might want to do like a wine sampling or Maybe they might want to go to like a, um, a distillery. So you just find out um, exactly what it is that they want to do while they're on their honeymoon. It all depends on what it is the client wants. And then we, we go from there. You know, I wondered, there was some, something you told me once and you said, I am a... I am a adventure designer. An adventure designer. Not a job, I'm an adventure exactly. designer. And I, yeah. I, I'm so stuck on that when you say that. I'm an adventure designer. Mm -hmm. Now, right now we're living at a time where it's definitely adventuresome and right. a lot of things are, you know, things are closed down or we don't, we're not free to travel as we wish. Right. What are some things that we can do to still get that sense of adventure? Right. Even though we have these restrictions. Restrictions, right. So there are places that you can go. So basically what you would have to, what we would work on is depending on where you live. Like say we live in New York, so there are areas that we can go to. So you can drive a lot of, that's what a lot of people are doing this summer. They're doing the drive um, um, trips. And then also you could do like a staycation. Like I, we live here in New York. Garden City Hotel is a beautiful hotel. It's not somewhere you would normally go, right? Yeah. So we can't go nowhere. So why not stay in your um, neck of the woods Find a hotel that you've always wanted to go to and spend the weekend there. You're giving me such great ideas. Yeah. <laughs> such great ideas. Yeah. So now we are, if we're at this wedding mm -hmm. and this couple is now looking forward to this beautiful honeymoon. Right. So what is your favorite thing about weddings? What do you love most about weddings? Uh, I just I just love seeing the, the families together, having a good time, the bride and the groom. They're beaming. When you see the bride and the groom, they always have that glow. I, it takes me back to when I got married. I actually just posted a picture of when um, my husband and I got married. And I'm like, look at the, you know, it's like you're beaming on that day. That's like the happiest day ever. So I want to re recreate that and continue that feeling. So when you go away on vacation, you would have that same feeling. You know what I mean? I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. That just that continuation of that celebration of joy and right. happiness and just eternal love. Exactly, right? yeah. Um, what would you say is your your mm, your weakness when it comes to wedding foods? Like for me, it's like the dessert table. I'm like, yeah. What me is too. your favorite dessert? Like I, what is your favorite wedding food? Oh, when they do like, the, when you go to a wedding and they have the ice cream bar and then you can do like, or when the Viennese table comes out, oh, yeah. you know, at the end. Um, I think I think that's my favorite. That's yeah, your favorite. For yeah. Me, I remember the first time I saw a Viennese table. I was like, "What in the world is going on?" <laughs> so I, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. So now, how can we find you? Uh, you to... you can find me on Instagram at Vanya Travels 18, um, and then you can also find me on Facebook um, at Adventures with Vanya. 
And what would you say if you could share one or two tips when it comes to planning your honeymoon? What should couples look out for? Well, I think the, the first thing is to start looking early because certain destinations they book up and you want to be able to have the type of vacation that you want, you know? So I would say start looking early and then second, just sit back and enjoy, you know? Let the travel agent do everything, and then when you get to your destination, just sit back and enjoy. That's the best part of it. When your travel agent knows you and has profiled yeah. you and mm -hmm. knows what you want, exactly. you can just sit back. You've been planning, you've been at the, the head of the whole planning, so it's nice to just let somebody- Somebody else take, take, over. take over. Yeah. Oh, last question. Yeah. What do you think is the most underestimated, unsought after location for honeymoons because you said Maldives I wouldn't have even thought of that so what areas or places that you can name that you're like no one ever thinks of this but this is an awesome destination mm -hmm. well like there's different some people like I said you know it depends on what it is that you want but I've heard of people going to Africa and going for, on a safari for their honeymoon or you can go to Bali I mean there's so many different destinations out there. Everybody likes going to the Caribbean and Mexico, but sometimes you have to think like outside the box and um, also cruising, you know? Cruising, though, the good thing about cruising is it's good for any budget. So on a honeymoon, normally, let's say you stayed in an inside room or something like that. So just upgrade and do a, a bigger room. Maybe you do a mini spa spa room you know pretty much the world is your oyster yep, right i exactly. think it's a great analogy for where we are and you can find vanya on her television show oh, right here on the rude rangers network so tell us a little bit about that the show that is going to be coming up it's called adventures with vanya and basically i will be talking about different destinations and like off the beaten path stuff that you wouldn't think of uh to go away at and so you'll find her there and you can definitely find her on IG mm -hmm. and you can find her on Facebook. Yes. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Dropping gems from Keisha Christian. She's on a mission. Sharing information. Knowledge for souls. Body and mind, dropping gems, KeishaGems.com, KeishaGems.com. Fam, we're celebrating love right here on Muscles and Stilettos. I brought my friends and experts to share their wisdom with you. Cheers to a good show. Hey fam, we're here with Sydney Casignol of Easy Time Rental. So here we are at Serenity by the Sea, one of the venues that he carries on his site. So Sydney, tell everybody who you are and what you do. Hi, doing? It's nice to be here. My name is Sydney Casignol. I'm the owner of Easy Time Rental, an event rental and services company based in West Hempstead, New York. We service uh, all the boroughs and Nassau County and Suffolk County. We're also an online marketplace which allows vendors and customers to source different products everything related to the event rental industry. One of the cool things that I like about your site is the fact that it is a one-stop shop. Anybody, any type of event that you're planning, you can find everything that you need. Why did you create such a platform? Because I think before you, those things really didn't exist. Well, currently, customers that are searching, that were trying to outsource products, 
would have to go on Google and search on multiple vendors, make multiple calls, email companies. It was a little frustrating to customers. So what I did is I came out with a platform that allowed customers to pretty much sift through categories and find the products that they needed from A to Z related to any type of event, social event, corporate, or um, religious event. Pretty much it allows customers to not only uh, source the products, but also check availability and book instantaneously. This entire set is provided by Easy Time Rental. The cocktail table, the covering on the table, this amazing arbor that you see back there, uh, Sydney actually built, and it was designed, the, it was decorated by one of the vendors on his site, Ribbon Tail Creations, right? By our, our Irene Casigno. So just the fact that I can just call you and say, hey, I'm having this event, and I was able to get everything in one, in one stop. Can you tell us a little bit more about this arbor here? How did you, did you build it from scratch? I started off with two by fours, and as you can see from the top, I cut them at 45 degree angles to make the top pieces. As soon as I built the top two outer supports, then I decided what I wanted to do with the legs. But then at the same time, for most weddings, depending on where the location is being held, you need to be able to move the arbor around. So the, as we look at the arbors, the, the left and right side are actually separate from the top. So it allows me to move the arbor around easily to, from location to location. In the event of certain areas, like out here where it could be windy, I also built custom stake and support plates that get nailed into the ground to provide a little more stability. That's cool because I know that you, if you don't have it, you'll look for it and if you can't find it, you build it. Build it, pretty much. <laughs> so it is definitely a one-stop shop source. One of the other questions I wanted to ask you, like um, since this episode we're focusing on weddings, what are some resources that a bride or groom or whomever can come and to you to find? Well, currently, right now with COVID, a lot of venues have canceled on on the bride, on, on the, the couple, I should say. So currently, they're looking for places to do it. They're, they find themselves having to do weddings in residential homes. So the highest demand, demanding items right now would be tents. That's the problem that they're running into. And if you need a tent, I would suggest that you need to book it really early. With the limitations that they currently have, I mean, I shouldn't say limitations, restrictions that they have, religious institutions have booked out these tents on long-term on long -term rentals. Restaurants have booked them out on long-term rentals. So that's created a shortage of tents actually out there for the couples that are looking to get married. So when I'm driving by and I see restaurants with tents Correct. and churches with tents outdoors, they're renting them from companies such as yours. Correct, they have them out on long-term rentals. Okay. And at this point, even the manufacturers are on back order. Is, so your advice is get it early as early whether, as you can. Whether you're planning, whether you're, you're dealing with a decorator, an event planner, um, a rental company, I understand things might be short notice, but if you find it, book it. Got it. So now I went to a, this is a non-wedding, but I went to an, an, an event and they were able to rent a television so they can have a movie. So I think that uh, like a movie screen outdoors. So I Correct. know a lot of times couples want to show pictures of their dating and how they met. Yeah. So is that something that you provide as well? We do, we do have movie screens and we do do um, the photo montage. Okay. Depending, when we usually set that up, we set that up, we send that out with our DJing service. Because majority of the time, when you're at a venue, whether you're at a venue or a residential location, we have separate stands just for these large TVs where we can actually either broadcast have a camera that's broadcasting the event itself, or we can have images that the, that the client already has that is streamed within these um, flat panels that we have staged at different locations. That is amazing. What would you say has been the most unique item or items that you've been asked to, um, to bring to an to event? To provide. To provide, yes. I would say, I got a strange request 
And like you mentioned before, I couldn't quite find it, so I actually had to design it and have a woodworker build it. There, was, there were couples that were looking to get married and they had the kids, that they want, the child that they wanted to bring down the aisle. Every company out there right now, what they've been doing is that, you know your typical red wagon? Yes. They've had these little red wagons that supposedly these companies are painting white to make it, kind of adjust it for a wedding. But what I ended up doing, I actually built a wooden wagon. And I haven't finished painting it yet, but the day the gentleman finished it and I bought it home, I wanted to test to see what kind of reaction I would get. I put it in front of the store and I had traffic stopping in all directions just looking at this little, little wooden cart that I had made. It serves multiple purposes. One, you could pull the child down the, down the aisle while they're getting married, the flower girl. Or two, you can actually put it on the table and the way it's gonna be decorated, it's gonna have a tray on the top for cupcakes or three, it can actually sit on top of a table and be used as a gift basket. So it has multiple purposes. Multiple purposes. So that's what I love about your company. You are very creative and you use, you know, anything that you can order or vend or whatever produce, it, it has multiple purposes. Yes. So where can we find you? Because I know you said you have a, a storefront. Where, where are you located? We're located in West Hempstead off of Woodfield Road. Also, majority of our bookings are actually handled through our site, easytimerental.com. We make it easy in the sense that customers, they can go on once they find the products that they need and they book. They literally just wake up in the morning and find the products, <laughs> the products there. Tents installed, tables and chairs set up, DJs on the way to their, to their event to, to pretty much um, start wiring up and preparing for their event. So you even have wedding officiants, you have event planners, like all of these services. Pretty much what we're trying to do is we're trying to unify the industry by having all these vendors and service providers pretty much list their service and products on the site to be able to make it not only easier for the customer, but make it a more powerful tool for event planners. As an event planner, then that would also reduce the amount of time that they would need to go out and outsource these products and services. That's awesome. I've been asking everybody this. What would you say is your favorite wedding food? <laughs> By far, even though I don't have a sweet tooth, it would have to be the cake. It would have to be the cake? It would have to be the cake. Any particular flavor? Red velvet. Mmm, very good. Red velvet. <laughs> very good. For me, rum. Rum cake. I'm not an alcoholic, but I do like my rum cake. <laughs> I want to thank you, Sydney, for joining me on Muscles and Stilettos for this very special edition. And I look forward to having everybody go on to your site. Definitely got to go visit ED Time Rental. And um, if you have any events coming up, bridal, non-bridal, it's definitely an easy one-stop shop.